All right, YouTube. Here we are for uh, round two of the challenge. We're on the play. I would like to be on. The, I would like to lead off, and I will keep my hand. <clears throat> I like to find a brainstorm to get rid of this, but you know we'll figure it out. <clears throat> you can fetch basics, which is nice. We have a Snapcaster, which is going to be good in a lot of formats, a lot of matchups. I'd like to find a Wasteland, not a Wasteland, I'd like to find a Force of Will or a way to deal with Chalice off the top of my head, or a Stoneforge Mystic. So take like Force, Council's Judgment, yeah, I don't want this. Here, we found a Force, though it's kind of an expensive Force, because I would be pitching a Snapcaster Mage. I need to make sure my coffee's okay, hang on. All right, that's a little nerve-wracking. Because we could be like sneak and show. It's either sneak and show, a Delver deck, or like a blue-white-red Miracles. I'm going to play another island. I guess I should have played this so that I could go. But if I'm playing against Delver, I'm not snap pondering on my turn three anyways. But I could have. Yeah, that was stupid. I should have played my windswept teeth. Just so you didn't know. I did play GP Niagara. I played blue red Delver in that event. If that helps. Yeah, with green for library and ancient grudge. Yep. Yeah. They did not shuffle and they played an island. Uh oh. Now we're playing against Storm. Okay, takes my Force of Will or my, probably my Snapcaster Mage. Okay. All right, so this is a piss poor matchup for the home team. So. Three mana. It's like a Pass in Flames. And we get Empty the Warrens. I guess I could just go get a, a ritual and then do it all over again and kill me. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so we're playing against Ant. All right, I'm going to concede because I don't want to go through this. Because they just go ritual, ritual, tutor, kill me. Oh, nice. The Dylan and Andrew matchups. You destroyed me. All right, so this matchup is not great. I want Containment Priest purely because I can flash it in an attack. There's literally no other reason besides that. I don't want Trinity Nemesis. I don't want Plow. Thank you. Council of Judgment's pretty medium. I could bring an A Supreme Verdict in order to have an out to Goblins. I could just bring in two Supreme Verdicts and cut my Umazawa's Jitte. What could they have that I would want in Judgment? They could have like the stupid Xanted Swarm card. Maybe Carpet of Flowers. Back to basics is good against Ant? Okay. I didn't know that. Oh, I have these on the wrong side. 
Okay, so if I have these coming in, I could easily just cut my cut a land, cut island. I could cut like a mystic. I tend to not like back to these. Jailer is slow. Probably can trim a jailer. Not feel that bad about it. Jace is better than jailer. I can also just cut another land. I'm gonna cut a jailer though. I think I want Stoneforge Mystic on two. I think, question mark. This hand's nice. It's kind of nice. Like we have Ponder, like we could just, we obviously could just die, but I don't think I can mulligan this hand. Like, go get an island, Ponder, into Batter Skull. So I'm looking to put my second card down as Force of Will. Because I'm assuming there'll be a discard spell coming my way. Yeah. So. And now I don't have to crack anymore, but I do want to crack a fetch. So we're going to go like this. Would you mulligan it, Lawrence? You think so? I really wanted to keep it on the strength of ponder and click, but like... And yeah, because they would have they would have discard spelled my ponder, and I'd have been up shit creek without a paddle. All right, so let's go get a planes because we do have that B two B. to use a card to do that so like that's okay i could have like all right i don't want to draw step this vendillion click i don't think i think i want to wait until my opponent like commits a little bit and then i'm probably just going to jam palace jailer so that i have force plus blue card Though, maybe I should just trust my Jace to get me there. Because Jace is better. Once in play. And now I'm definitely going to EOT, give him the click. Clickening. I 
I could just like play this Jace and then scream about my height and just believe that it's going to do it for me. All right, so I'm going to get massacred. Yeah, it's an Adnaz. Morning, Drewski90. So I actually kind of want to take duress because for them to play this ad nauseum, it's gonna they're gonna need more resources. I'm gonna take duress. Yes, they do. So I'm just going to play Jason Brainstorm. Did I that or play Jailer? Jailer just gets killed by the Massacre, though. But if I Jason, I whiff, I'm in a lot of trouble. Oh, that makes sense. Planes. I have another one of these in my hand. Yeah. All right. I have been massacred. So we have two cards. Okay, let this go. Cause they could just they can just dark ritual all their way up there. All right, now we just gotta, nice. I think I'm just gonna believe, like I think not playing Jace is pretty cowardly and I'm gonna brainstorm. Jesus. Not playing Jace is a short man's play, right, Lawrence? <laughs> Ricky, you ain't, you ain't beating you ain't beating the sides playing scared. You to put force on top to brainstorm into it. Yes, you're right. Okay. So they have Cabal Ritual and they have Dark Ritual. So I should just force this because I can't let them, even if they cast a spell, they still get to do another one. And I think... I think Brainstorm is my pitch card. Because I can, I want to keep the Snapcaster Mage for a counter spell if I find one. So 
I'm drawing batter skull. I think I just want to find like a like he's even like a spell pierce or something is still really good here. I think that's better than just fate sealing. So now I can go put back Batter Skull like Supreme Verdict or Batter Skull Containment Priest. Yeah, I'm going to put back Batter Skull Containment Priest and I'm going to play Stoneforge Mystic and I think I'm going to brainstorm after that. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. So let's go here. Pick this up. And then I'm gonna see another card. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna brainstorm. I wanna hold my brainstorm, I think. Let's see what I find. Wasteland. Do I want to brainstorm now? No, I don't want to brainstorm because I would like to go Snapcaster. No, Snapcaster brainstorm if they discard it. So. Okay. So we let this resolve. If they take brainstorm, we still have Snapcaster to snap brains. Oh, they took batter skull. That makes sense as well. If I wish I had a brainstorm to just flash the snapcaster mage in to start beating, but ooh. So if I just go wasteland. Surgical, like Wasteland the Red Source. Well, what are you ta uh, what are you taking, Lawrence? Are you like taking the Piff? Like, it's gonna be tough for them, but then and then I can just like go up. Yeah, I mean, they're at such low resources that without past them flames, tendrils in hand. Okay. Nice. That, that was the only reason that I was, like, hesitant about, like, maybe I should hold my past in flames. Or I should, like, surgical something else because I have Snapcaster. Because I was just, like, if I just go, like, Snapcaster, surgical, like, dark ritual. And then, like, waste, then maybe. Well, yeah, I mean, they still could hit, for sure. Fate ceiling is against my religion. Mm hmm God, I wonder if I almost want another Palace Jailer. Like, I, I know that, like, the Palace Jailer was kind of, like... Like, is the Palace Jailer better than my 20th land? Does that just reduce the amount of keepable hands I can keep? Like, is this Containment Priest... Like, this literally Containment Priest is just here to be a 2-2 two -two ba two -two bear. Like something that I can go like, hold counterspell up, flash in. There were no empty the Warrens. We're cutting one of these and we're bringing in a Jailer. Because Jailer fucks. 
This is like my favorite card. This is my favorite card of all time that just shouldn't be a magic card. I think, I really think that sitting behind a palace jailer monarch is like very similar to sitting behind a Jace. Like you're just sitting there accruing value. You're drawing more cards, which helps you just keep it going. I think. I'm gonna do this. The nuts. The nuts. Palace Jailer equals somewhat better FTK. Flame Tongue Kabu with upside. I believe that's what the kids call it. It's like Flame Tongue Kabu went to the gym. Just a 2 2. Just a wee lad. Just a thin boy. Not a thick boy. He ain't Phil status. He's just a thin boy. Literally, just as something that I could flash in and attack with. That was, that's the only reason why Containment Priest is in the deck. I'm going to Spell Pierce the shit out of this. Yeah, it's like the little 2 2 that could. I'm going to let this go because I would like to get my Containment Priest in play. If I didn't have Containment Priest in my hand, I, would, I think I would counter that. But I only have one more Fluster Storm, so I don't know. All right. Here we go, baby. The heat is on. The heat is on. Yeah, dude, we got our beater. My opponent's going to lose to a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Don't quit your day job. I don't need that kind of negativity in my stream. Jesus Christ. I don't even want to brainstorm. But I should try to hit land drops, I guess. Problem is my whole hand is good. I'm going to brainstorm at the end of my opponent's turn. More singing. deal I wanted to because Tan and Grace was uh, commentating and I haven't I heard he was good at it with, in Hearthstone back in the day Well, he used to do that. That was like his thing. Another note today, as you can see up above my head here, the Barrero brothers are Canadian wrestlers who we used to play magic with. We're trying to raise $500 for them to cover expenses to go to the Olympics. Canada doesn't support that as much as they would like. So... If you would like to see your deck uh, played, $10 donation. Any donation uh, made today, I will match via my moto collection. So I will sell treasure chests and tickets until we meet. And uh, 
we're going to put all the winnings that we get today towards it as well. So if you got the extra cash, help out the Barrera brothers there. Takes A4s. Okay. Brainstorm. Ooh. I think this is just a wasteland volcanic island. I guess I could have put like another force of will on top, I guess, because I have access to brainstorm, but I don't really want to just willy nilly my brainstorm if I don't have to. I've been playing a lot of Legacy since Modern has been so meh. I've just been playing Modern at a local weekly event. Waiting to see what Horizon says. Luster Storm is a good add to Modern. I'm not even sure that I want to Brainstorm, as my hand is pretty good at the moment. I don't really want to change anything. Though I could use like a Vendillion click. So I am going to Brainstorm here, and I can just not shuffle. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go like this. Because I do want this Stoneforge Mystic, but I would like to be able to play the Stoneforge Mystic with two mana up. So I'm just going to go like this. I want to hit a land drop. I guess I'm stupid. I could have I played Stoneforge Mystic with two mana up. Oh, that was dumb. But maybe this game's not even about Stoneforge Mystic anymore. Uh, maybe Mystic doesn't even matter. Yeah, Stoneforge Mystic doesn't matter. I'm going to take this Brainstorm. And then I'm just going to pass... Then brainstorm at the end of my opponent's turn. I'm going to fetch before I brainstorm. The nice thing here is, is this this uh, br this brainstorm also juices up my fluster storm. Dude, we're getting in with Judith Priest over here. All right, I am going to, I'm gonna just fetch and take a draw step. I'm gonna get a Tundra. At this point, we're not casting back to basics. It's a force, it's a pitch card. That's a nice draw. It's a good solid card. Not much else besides that. I didn't want to counter that because I have a brainstorm. If I didn't have brainstorm, I wouldn't counter that. I would if I did not have brainstorm, I would have countered that. Yeah, I mean if I didn't if I didn't have brainstorm, if I didn't have brainstorm, then I would have definitely taken it. Could you imagine if we brainstorm into a Vendillion click here?
I'm gonna do this now. Oh no, I'm not. My opponent gave me back priority. No, I'm not gonna do this right now. My opponent. So I'm gonna brainstorm at the end of the turn. Even if I find like a Snapcaster Mage or something. So now I just untap, draw my land, play Palace Jailer, play my land. There's a mystic. We need the turn nine spell pierce. I'm just gonna pierce this. I'm gonna trade my pierce for anything. And when I have palace jailer, I think I just want to trade. Okay, now I guess I just I guess I did just give them the green light. Oh, they might have been playing me there. Oh no. Alright, Dark Ritual. I have double force of will. Infernal Tutor. So if they have, if they have natural tendrils, they're, they're, okay, so my opponent is not holding priority. Okay, so this means that their last two cards have got to be something like, like they're not cracking their LED. So I think what my opponent is doing is they're going to get another ritual and they have natural tendrils or they have um, passive flames. So I'm gonna force this and I think I'm going to pitch Flusterstorm because Flusterstorm isn't necessarily a hard counter at the moment. Well, what well, counter spell is. And now I have to force this because if their last card is Tendrils, then I'm dead. If they have Past in Flames, this is going to feel bad. Jeez. Okay. So what do I have left in my deck? I have two spell pierces. Two fluster. I have one spell pierce. Two flusters. Two fluster storms. A counter spell and two forces. I'm playing Jace. I just don't know exactly what I'm doing with it. I think also because I'm the monarch playing this Jace. Because we can comfortably Jace into Brainstorm, into Force of Will, like, blue card. All right, well, we didn't do it. Well, so now I think I just put back Batter Skull. Uh, this was kind of unfortunate. I guess if I put back... 
Batter Skull Snapcaster Mage. But then Snapcaster Mage next turn is a counter spell. Or I could just put both of these back and then bluff. Which I think is my better play. Okay, so the last card, their last card is Tendrils. Okay, so we're going to put this back, put this back. Ponder. Any order. Yes. Tail. Attack for two. I'm just going to waste a black source. Oh, playing Stoneforge Mystic would have given me a shuffle. You're right. I messed up. No, I messed I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Made a mistake. I made a mistake. Okay, well, at least now I'm sitting on Snap Pierce, which should do something, maybe. I thought, I, I thought to myself, at first I was like, okay, I could get bottlenecked on mana. Infernal Tutor. So what does this do? This goes and gets Past in Flames. Past in Flames costs four. And then I snap Pelt, Spell Pierce, and I kill them. Right? Yeah. Because four, yeah, we're good. Woo! Woo! Yeah, I didn't play that last turn very well. I was pretty happy with how I played this match, except that last turn. I did not play this turn well at all, which is a little disappointing. But we got it. I wish I could watch my video. I should have definitely done 